Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Rocky Mount After Party two bike swing away bike rack and we're going to take a look at how this fits our 2020 Honda Pilot. This bike rack is especially helpful because it swings away for full hatch access. Plus you also have the fun features of this being a dual wheel mounted bike rack and a good weight capacity for heavy electric bikes. What we're going to do is we're going to loosen the lever down here. So this lever is pretty much loosened, so I'm just going to rotate this until it's completely out. And then in the back, there's that knob. So I'm going to pull the knob and then you can see that the whole system comes out. Now we have a lot of maneuverability for this, so you can go out 90 degrees or if you want you can go out a full 180. Just be mindful of it and don't let it swing into your car. So we're gonna sit it out like this. You can hear it snap into place. So even if you give it a little wiggle, it's not getting any closer to your vehicle. To bring this back into place, there are two knobs. So there's one larger one over here and one smaller one here. So we're gonna pull this knob so that we can pivot it back. And then once we get into place, I'm gonna make sure this one is good too. And then that way this all pivots back into a folded position. So as nice as that maneuverability is, it can be a little bit confusing because there's a lot of pivot points that you do have to keep track of. Let's see, that goes back into place. We're gonna give it a nice good push to make sure it's locked in. And then we're going to tighten down this lever here to make sure it's fully secure before we go and drive away. So that's nice because then you have full access behind your pilot, but you do have to consider it takes a little bit of time and effort. If you don't need that swing away feature, you can check out the Rocky Mounts guide rail. It's pretty much the same as this bike rack, just without that swing away. If you want quick hatch access, you can just tilt the rack away by pulling the blue lever at the end, dropping this down to a tilt, and now you can open up your hatch. So that's great if you just you know grab something real quick or put away some groceries. But if you wanna hang out here, maybe you're setting up camp, you're tailgating, and you want even more access, what you can do is swing the entire system away. A quick summary of some things to determine if your bike can fit on this rack. It does have a 60 pound weight capacity for those heavier electric bikes, has a 55 inch wheelbase, which is very impressive. Plus it has a three inch tire width maximum capacity. So it will fit most bikes of different shapes and sizes, especially since it is a dual wheel mount style. So if you look over here, it secures the bike by the front and the rear wheel. There is zero frame contact. So when we wanna take the bike off, there's a way to do that. The dual wheel mounts are operated by this lever. So the first thing you need to do is press the lever or push in. That would instantly disengage part of it so that you can flip the lever open and then push out completely on that mount. What I like to do is have one side all the way down to the ground. So kind of like a ramp, although not completely. But that way, as this front one is disengaged, I can then roll the bike up and out. Let's go, push that out of the way. And then this can just ramp down and I don't have to do as much lifting. Rather, I'm just facilitating its unloading. Now once that's fully unloaded, I could do the same thing for the other bike. This makes it easier for two bikes, even if they're similar shapes and sizes. Keeping the lever out, we're able to bring this mount up and then in. Now flipping the lever back in, I'd like you to listen for something. Right there, that's where it starts ratcheting. And at that point, it's in the locked position. So something to think about for that is, if you do have those longer wheelbases, you're able to adjust your bikes on the tray to make sure you have the best fit. 
Let's talk about measurements. So this will add some length to the back of your vehicle. Let's see this exactly how much. So from our bumper to the end of the rack, that's gonna be 29 inches of length. So pretty good for a two bike platform rack, but if you do have a small garage where you need to park into a tight spot, that's something worth considering. The next measurement is gonna be ground clearance. So from the trays to the ground, that's gonna be about 25 and a half inches. This handle to the ground is gonna be 23 and a half inches. So if you have steep inclines like driveways or hills, that's something to remember. Although, if you notice here, this arm sits pretty close to the ground, 11 and a half inches away. So that's something to consider too if you're going on those steep inclines. But if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet, this rack does fold up. So remember that lever you pulled earlier to tilt the rack away? We'll pull it again, but this time lift into the upright position. Let's go take some measurements again. While it looks like it might come close, it actually has plenty of clearance between the bike rack and the car. So bumper to the bike rack, that's two and a half inches. And with it fully tightened down, it's not getting any closer than that. Next measurement is length added. So bumper to end of the rack, that's gonna be 13 inches. So big difference compared to when this was folded down. You'll have it in this position when you're just riding around town or driving around town and you don't need to carry around your bikes. So this right here was a look at the Rocky Mounts After Party 2 bike platform rack that swings away here on our 2020 Honda Pilot.